Take an old American-made passenger car, remove the excess trim, knock out some glass, keep it in stock condition, you know, two-barrel carbs, eight-inch tires, don't monkey around with the suspension too much, and away you go, ready for bomber racing. Four heat races to take you up first, and starting it off in heat number one was Ted Novak of New Prague. He roared to the lead, John Schmitz and Jay Salmon crashed. Division points leader Grant Wascott was black flagged from the race for causing a crash. The top six finished extremely close, and that all happened in eight laps, folks. The second heat, not quite as dramatic, but we still had three leaders in the race. Mike Chatterton of Morristown was the final one. Two leaders in the third heat, Mike Schmitz and Derry Peterson both passed Rob Koffenberg in lap six. And in the final heat, another crash. The top four pulled away, and 33 Rick Martin Sr. won the race. The Bomber B action lined up 23 cars who did not qualify for the A main. Minnetonka's Joe Sereni rap found the front of the races on the second lap. The big mover was points leader Grant Wasgott, number 60, bolting past a flock of loose cars in the early going. Wasgott was running in his first B feature event of the year due to his mishap in the heat race. As Sarani opened a huge lead on the way to his first feature win of the year, Wasgott in number 60 and Jay Salmon in car 66 had a great door-to-door -door run for second. Wasgott eventually won out. In the A feature, the top two cars were Ted Novak in the blue number 9 and Bill Peterson in the orange number 23. Only one caution, but number 9 Novak, the leader, and number 33 Rick Martin Sr. hooked bumpers sending the field scurrying. As the race resumed, Peterson held the front to himself and sprang to a comfortable lead. Look at this three-wide battle for fourth. Only in the Bombers, man. Ron Whelan in number seven, Tony Holm in 99, and Mike Scooby Chatterton in car 20. Problems for race leader Phil Peterson on lap 11. A smoking car and a black flag, and Peterson was out of here. Inheriting the lead was the 0-2 ride of Faribault's Dan Volpre when he bumped on the back straight with Andy Jurek, sending the 83 car for a loop. Cruising to a big win was the 0-2 ride of Dan. Oh, what a save! Bull prey while Mike Chatterton and Tony Holm rounded out the top three. Grant Walsh out of Plymouth is still the overall bomber points leader with a slim four-point margin over Mike Schmitz. The top six drivers are separated by only 22 points. Now here's a look at how the top ten finished in the bomber A's.